Hello everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. I'm Halima and if this is the first time you're watching me, I want to say you're welcome to my channel. For those of you who have already subscribed to my channel, I want to say you're welcome to the DIY family. You're welcome to my channel. Alright, today's tutorial will be on how to draft a basic skirt block bodice pattern. I promise you this video will be quick, beginner friendly and straight to the illustration without wasting time just please stay tuned to the end of this video but just a quick reminder before we get started if you haven't subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for please show me some love by hitting the red button down below the subscribe button down below and on your notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up just to let you know last week i made a detailed illustration on how to sew i made a detailed illustration in my video on how to sew this top. If you think this top might be of interest to you, just follow my video. It is very simplified and then get started by in making this top. Tools we need are ruler, pen, scissors, measuring tape and um, hip cover ruler and my drawing paper as shown in the table. I've gone ahead to undress my mannequin to enable us to do the measurement together. On the waistline, I've gone ahead to put a black thread just to indicate where the waistline is. And I've gone ahead to put a black thread on the hips line just to indicate the fullest part of the hips. Let's now take the measurement of both Taking the Taking my tape around the, the mannequin waist. The mannequin waist circumference is 30. My own waist circumference is 35. We'll go ahead and measure out the fullest part of the hip circumference on this mannequin. The hip circumference here is 42. My own hip circumference is 46. Please put down this term measurement and let's go ahead and get the vertical measurement, which is the waist to the hips distance. The next thing we have to do now is to measure out the waist to hip distance. The waist to hip distance on this mannequin here is 8. But my own waist to hip distance is 8.2. So please follow this illustration and take down your own waist to hip distance and write it out. The next measurement is our waist to the final length of my skirt. My own measurement is 27. Please take your own measurement. Depends on what you prefer and write it down. I've proceed to my drawing table and I've gone ahead to place my paper on my drawing table. I made um, a guideline on my paper. I made a guideline on my paper, which is one inch from the top of the paper. The next thing I have to do now is um, to put down all measurements. So we'll start that together. From the top of my paper, I went ahead to make to mark the skirt length, which is 26. I did transfer that measurement to the other side of my paper. To the other side to get the same measurement out, 26. Then I'll go ahead and roll a straight line. So this is the length of my skirt. The next thing I have to do is to put the waist to the hips distance. My waist to hip distance is 8.2 inch. So I'm going to go ahead and measure. That is 8.2 inch or 21 cm. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that out. I made I made a mark at that point. It's, I did transfer the same measurement to the other end of the paper. I made a mark, so I'll rule it out. I've gone ahead to rule out. I've gone ahead to rule out the waist to hips um, distance. The next thing we need to do now is to label out each of the lines, starting from the top. I had to label the line. The waist line is WL. The hips line is HL. So I'm going to put in the waist circumference now. So my waist is 35. 35 divided by 4 is 8.75. Plus one inch for that is 9.75. Put down the mark. My hips divided by 4 plus is put down the mark for the hips measurement and connect with the cover. So you connect with the hip cover like this way. The next thing we need to do now is to measure out the distance on the hips line and transfer it to the final hem line and label it FL. So after making that point, that mark on that point 12, I'll go ahead and join these two lines, these two points, the HL line and the FL line with a straight line so i've gone ahead to join with a straight line so this is my skirt panel taking shape already so after doing that the next thing we need to do now is to place our dart on the skirt borders is to place our dart on the skirt borders so to place our dart on these borders the best thing to do 
The best way to place your dart on this skateboard is, is to get your nipple to nipple distance. My nipple to nipple distance is 9. 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. I've gone ahead to make that mark 4.5. The next thing to do is to draw the dart distance length. The dart distance length is 4 inch for the front skirt pattern. And the width of the dart is 1 inch. So I'll split it into 2 and I'll make it half inch on both sides. So the next thing for me to do is to draw out the dart leg. So I'm going ahead to draw my dart leg. On the waistline, we'll go up half inch just to draw out the front skirt line curve and connect it to the start point as shown on the waistline. Join points together, you have your final skirt pattern as shown. For a straight skirt, if you want it penciled on the hemline here, go ahead and take one inch at the final length to make to mark one inch and then you connect that one inch to in this way i'll use a colored pen to do that you collect that one inch like this go ahead and cut out the skirt panel in this direction let's do the skirt back pattern i place the front pattern on another plain paper so we can trace out all the front measurement to the back. That means the waistline, the hips line, and the final length. I did put a one inch for, um, zip allowance at the, at the, for the skirt pattern. So this is the zip allowance. This is zip allowance one inch. The next thing we need to do now is to transfer all our points the waistline, the hips line, and the final length line, fine, and the final length to this back pattern. So I made a broken line from the center front of the skirt pattern to help me show the one inch for the seat of the zip allowance. The next thing I'll have to do now is to take off the front pattern out as seen. Here's what the skirt looks like after tracing out all label lines. Um, now let's go ahead and put in the sketch that to complete this um, illustration. The recall my dart point is 4.25 using nipple to nipple distance. My dart length is 6 inch as shown in the mark. Also the dart width is 1 inch so I will take half inch on both sides of the line. So enable me draw the dots. Please follow my illustration to do as I have shown. Here's the final look. Here's the final look of the skirt with the dot. Then we'll curve out the skirt line by going down half inch from that broken line point and draw the curve line out. See final skirt pattern with the curve created. So we'll go ahead and do the skirt cutting. So follow my video and watch it to the end. And I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel please. And give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much.